Hey there, in today's video, I'm going to be pressing this DTF transfer that's on the screen. I'm going to be pressing it on a blue shirt that's my personal shirt. I'm anxious to try it, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and get started on um, this one. Am I ready to clear all this out of here? Because I want to use everything that I, that I have, all these uh, DTF prints. I'm going to go ahead and cut the pieces that I need first. So again, these are going to be for the sleeves. I'm not sure about that because when I was first when I originally designed it, I designed it on a, a 12 by 18, um, how do I say it, like a template, I guess. I, I do everything on Canva pretty much. And because the print, because these prints are 13 by 19, I didn't want to go over the edge. So I did a 12 by 18 um, template or design space or design area and that's how i was able to come up with these so I really it really didn't tell me the size of this it doesn't give me the dimensions so i kind of just had to like play with it and kind of i don't know just guess to, to see how big the image was going to be these i knew were going to be okay this one i wasn't so sure about but i didn't want to waste space either really i could have probably made it I don't know, I could have probably fit, shrunk it a little bit and make two more and then maybe shrunk these a little bit more. I don't know, I'll probably do that on the next one because I do like this one, the white one. So again, this is gonna be for a sleeve. I'm gonna do it on a blue shirt. And again, I'm not gonna use, I'm probably not gonna use this because for me, I think it's too big for a chest piece. I mean, that's, I think that's five inches. The chest piece normally isn't that big. It's actually six and a quarter inches, six and a half inches. That's pretty big. I might work um, on a large shirt, but because I wear a medium or small, I mean medium to large, depending on the brand, that would be a good size. But for me, I don't know. I'll, I might try it anyway. Let's see. Right now, I'm just cutting them out getting ready for pressing onto my shirt and I'm supposed to be getting some more from Jesus so I hope you guys um, he's gonna send me on my next video that I'm gonna upload I'm gonna have more contact info for him rather than looking for him on or communicating with him on Etsy I hope on the camera. Y'all I'm doing is just cutting a circle. Again, I've never used these before. I'm really excited about it, and I know I mentioned that in my last video. I don't know how they're I don't know how the um how the uh, transfer is gonna look like. I mean I can remove the lines anyway, it doesn't matter. I have a few ways and I do have a video on how to remove the transfer, heat transfer lines from your, from your shirt. There are different ways. For now, I just want it to be rounded. So, if I do use this as a left, left chest piece, let me see how big it's gonna look. I'll make sure my camera's in range. I'm gonna knock, y'all see that's too big. Yeah, that's way too big and I'm more, this is a medium, so that's too big. So something like this, again, I had to just kind of eyeball it because on Canva, it wasn't giving me the sizes on all the images that I was putting together. So I was just kind of eyeballing it. So this would be good for a front chest piece, but it's kind of small. So I'm, I'll, probably, I'll probably just save this for a bigger shirt. So what I am gonna do is use the big piece for the front. So that's gonna be perfect for me. 
so I can wear it. I still need to go to storage and get my shirt, get some shirts. I can't get all of them right now. I have like maybe 200 in stock in my inventory. So all I'm doing is just cutting this out for now. I hope you can see it. I'm in an awkward position. So here's the white one. I love this one. I think I was more excited about this one because the white stands out on everything. So that's going to be this. And I keep checking my camera. And then this is going to be on the sleeve. So that's a pretty good size. Could have been a little, a little bit smaller, but I want the letters to be legible. And I don't know if you noticed, but the letters are, I think it's called cubic. The font is called cubic. And it was perfect because it was shaped um, octagon, like a, like a gear. Normally some gears is are like octagon shape or whatever. I thought it was perfect. Kind of like nut, nuts or bolts. And anyway, I'm not going to get into detail, but anyway, <laughs> I thought it was perfect because originally or my, some of my other designs, I have like 20 plus different designs uh, for gear, get your rear and gear. And some of them do have a bolt in the middle or on the sides. I, I'm, I may, I'm not finished printing or getting some more prints, but you, you will see it in the future. Um, but anyway, this is just to start. So this is what I'm going to do with this. Um, I'm going to do it on both sides. And I'll show you that next. I'm going to go ahead and press these. That's what they're going to look like. And this, again, like I said, I'm going to save it for a bigger shirt, a larger size shirt. So, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. The lighting is bad in here. I don't have all my stuff. I'm going to go to storage tomorrow and get, get the stuff that I'm lacking. I'm not even going to do a, my center line. I normally fold my shirts in half. I'm just going to eyeball it. This is again the DTF and this is my print, my print, my DTF print. Can I talk today? I'm waiting. I don't have my heat gun. Anyway, this is supposed to be the DTF from Jesus. Um, I, uh, on my video, my last video, showing you the freebies that he sent me, I, I tagged it with 32015 only because I read his, his, his message previously, his previous message, and I noticed in the video that it was not correct. So anyway, this is the correct instructions. So uh, 325, 20 seconds, you see my light flickering. Use a Teflon sheet, which I gotta get real quick. And then it's gonna be cold peel. So I'm gonna have to probably pause the video so I can let it cool down. It says to at least two minutes, to wait at least two minutes. After first press, wait until it's completely cold to peel at least two minutes. So then the second press, same temperature, 10 seconds, still using the Teflon sheet. He says that this is very important for you to get a good, uh, for, it to for it to have a lasting effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Teflon sheet, it's down there. And medium pressure, by the way, I didn't tell you that. So this is my first attempt. I'm only gonna do one shirt, one video for now because this is gonna be my first attempt. I still gotta do cutting and I still gotta go to my, to my, uh, I still gotta go to storage and grab some shirts. I have, because I haven't, and I haven't decided what color yet either. So, doing my four fingers. I wish I had my freaking heat gun. I don't want this to be a fail because I don't have my heat gun, but anyway. <laughs> the lighting sucks in here. Anyway, that looks pretty straight. 
So I'm gonna grab my Teflon sheet. The light is flickering, I don't like that. Usually I don't trust that to, let me make sure my heat gun's not here because I could have sworn I did have it. Ah, Buddha. I could have sworn I had it. Give me one second. Oh well. Anyway, I have it at 3.30 just in case. I always bump it up. So here goes nothing. So medium. I did it a little bit heavier than medium. Just, just for kicks. Only because I want to make sure this works. So again, 20 seconds. I got 9 seconds left. The light is flickering in here. I'm really worried about that. 2 seconds. gonna have to do cold peel so normally what you can do is if you have a I guess a metal table that would help a lot I don't have a metal table so what I've seen some people do is they grab a t-shirt and they just rub it on here and I'm gonna have to I'm just gonna use my my QR code t-shirt. Only thing I don't like about when I see people doing this, I don't see how it makes it cold, but especially when it's under the press, when it works hot. So it's gonna be a couple minutes, like Sue said. And he's already getting a lot of business. So like I said earlier, I am gonna, he's getting a phone number for DTF only and an email for DTF only so that way you don't have to worry about uh, trying to find him or contact him on Etsy you don't have to have an Etsy account to get a hold of him see I don't like that it. it's still warm so I don't understand the process when people do that because for me that's just making it warm because you're adding friction but whatever nothing against those that do that but I just figured I'd try it for myself to see if it helps and it's still warm. So anyway, I really, I don't want to peel it just yet. Actually, let me get it off the press. Just give me a second. I'm going to just swing it around. It's looking good so far. I didn't line it. I didn't center my, that's a pretty huge print. That's actually 11, no, 12 inches. It should be about 12 inches. Getting my tape measure out. Actually, 11 inches. Yeah, because when I was designing, I, I made the des my design area 12 by 18 because I didn't want to go over. I didn't want to go close to the edges on 13 by 19 sheet. So this is actually 11 inches, and I think it's cooled down enough. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Moment of truth. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't think anybody's ever heard me excited on, <laughs> on video. Oh my God, I'm in love. I still gotta do the sleeve, but. Okay, so we gotta do 10 more seconds. And again, that's, he said that that's a very important step. So that, uh you'll have much better results. And I think that's just like anything else that we do when we're using heat transfer vinyl. Sorry, I, I was carried, getting carried away talking to you guys. I think I did 17 seconds, but it's all good. Oh my God, that looks awesome. Check that out. That's beautiful. I'm gonna do the sleeve. I hate the lighting in here. So what I'm gonna do for the sleeve, I'm just gonna put the shirt on the side or off to the side and I have a I'm gonna grab a heat pillow hang on one second I've been rearranging in here and oh well I'll just have to use the tea pad it that's that's all good no problem no worries okay so this is the center 
I'm gonna put it about right here. I'm gonna burn my cheeks. I wanna make sure I'm I want to make sure I'm as close as possible, as close as to the middle as possible because, you know, I don't know if a lot of, I mean, for me, I think everybody should know this, but the newbies probably don't know, your, the heating elements are not always equal pressure or even pressure. That's why it's best to have the heat gun, the thermal uh, heat gun, which I can't find. <laughs> it's best to have that. So you can check your uh, so you can check your uh, temperature. I'm trying to get this to be perfect because I don't want to really rush. And I know I'm gonna have to adjust my pressure because now I'm using a tea pad. It. So 20 seconds again, and then we're gonna do a cold peel. Or wait for it to cool down. And this it left uh, an impression or an imprint. You can see it. I didn't leave anything behind. Okay, so we're gonna do. Just gonna get it off the. Actually, I'm gonna just while that one's cooling down, I'm gonna do the other side. This is my personal shirt. I can't wait to wear it. I hate the lighting in here. Sorry, guys, but. You get the gist of what I'm doing. <laughs> Look like my hand was shaking. I can I don't know what I did with my Teflon sheets or my Teflon pillows. That's driving me crazy right now. So I'm trying to stretch it out as flat as possible. Oh my gosh, my girlfriend just embarrassed me on video. <laughs> Well, I'm going to show you what she just did off camera. I forgot I had these. Oh, my gosh. Well, I guess I embarrassed myself. Now I can use it. Thanks, baby. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm so organized that I don't even know I'm organized. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so anyway, I'm just trying to line it up. I'm going to have to do some editing because I feel like this is taking too long. All right, so here's the next one. I'm just following the seam. And I think I did like half an inch from the uh, sleeve. I want to make sure that it's even. Okay, I didn't go that far up. Well, here, now that you can see that it's cold, I might have to do this again. Remember, 10 seconds. Look at that. That's beautiful. So this one is there, tilted, I think that should be okay, Teflon sheet, 20 seconds, I don't think that was, you know what, crap, that one was not as tight because this was stiff, this one's a little bit thicker than the Teflon uh, pillow crap but we should be okay i'm just gonna have to adjust the pressure so we got zero time left i'm going to tighten it up do the other side for 10 seconds i'm gonna put the i'm gonna do it the pillow <laughs> right there so I do 10 seconds on the uh first sleeve where we use the Ouch, it's hot. Yeah, I don't recommend the tea padded because it leaves marks. Not that it matters because you can iron that out. And this time I got to watch the timer. 10 seconds. Okay, that one was snug. So we got four seconds. Three, two, one, zero. Let me do the other one and then we're done. I'll show you. So we're taking this one off. 
voila 10 seconds and then we're done oh my god i'm loving this I haven't been this excited since i don't know when no offense baby <laughs> okay 10 seconds it sounds loud because I am using the medium to heavy pressure only because I want to make sure this comes out right. I don't want this to be a fail because I'm not going to do too much editing. Well, I forgot again. Anyway, it's hot. Let me go ahead and turn this off. I'll do another video doing a bunch of other shirts on the next video. I just wanted to do this one because this one I'm going to wear. I'll show you on the video and then I'm going to also show you pictures at the very end. So here's the front. I can grab it. Here's the front. Get your rear and gear. And I like to put motivational stuff or inspirational stuff on shirts, especially scriptures. Because you never know what somebody's going through when you're out and about. They might need a they might need that one word. They might need that one word. It might take that one word to change something in their life. And then here's a sleeve. And then here's the other sleeve. Okay, so now for the feel. It feels, it feels freaking amazing. It almost feels like, it feels like vinyl, to be honest. It doesn't feel thick. You can't really hear it, like, it doesn't sound like paper. It feels, I mean, you can, you can, you can, you can't even really feel the, the edges at all. I don't remember if you can feel it on vinyl, but yeah, you can't even feel the, feel it. Man, this is perfect. I can't wait to use some more of this. You can't even feel it. It's, it's weird. I love it. So you can't even hear it. I love it. I love the feel. I love the way it looks. You can't feel it. I can't feel the edges. It's like it's completely embedded inside the shirt, into the shirt. Wow, I love it. I really do. I love it. Could have gone up a little bit more, but it doesn't really matter. It feels freaking amazing. Anyway, Jesus, you're going to be super busy. I already sent him three, four, no, four people today. Four people after the video. I uploaded the video yesterday. And he's going to get a lot of business. Like I said, he's going to have a separate email and a separate uh, telephone number for this. Because he does have other businesses. So he's going to have a separate email, separate phone number for the DTF, his DTF uh, products. I enjoyed this. I cannot stress that enough. I enjoyed this. I'm excited about this. I'm super excited about this DTF. Anyway, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time.